Hey what's going on, this is Vincent. This video is for setting up Aweber. This is going to walk you through step by step how to get your Aweber all set up so that you can plug in and start advertising your capture pages, driving traffic so that your leads can get followed up with correctly and then be driven back to your Empower Network pages so that they can join under you. So here's the video. I recorded this a while back for one of my teammates but it applies to simple advertised people as well so hopefully this is helpful. Here you go. Alright, so I'm here in Aweber account. This is a new account by one of my new teammates, Ian, and I just wanted to help him set it up, and I figured I might as well record this and just show everybody exactly how to do this Aweber import. So, it looks like he already got this started. Um, let me just double check this. So basically what you need to do is you create a new list, and then under my uh, messages here, you want to go under follow up. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the follow-up page, there's a thing that says campaign sharing, and next to this red button there's a text box where you can paste in a code. And so if you go into our co-op network, and you go into the file section, there's one of these things called how to set up Aweber with Empower Network. And if you look in there, there's this autoresponder campaign code down here. So you want to take this bold code right here, copy that, and then go back into your Aweber, and then paste it into here, and then hit load campaign, and that's going to load in all these messages. So now you've got, you've got 83 days worth of follow-up messages that are going to be sent out. It looks like in the beginning every day, see there's the one here, and then after a couple weeks, every two days, every three days, every four days, and then five. And so, you know, it's going to trickle out these messages over, you know, a couple of months, probably. And so, you know, people that you're sending into your capture pages are going to be hearing about Empower Network quite a bit. Because every single one of these emails refers them back to either a blog post or another capture page or another video and just puts them back into the funnel. And this is really what you want to get your leads coming back to the site and signing up. You know, a lot of people, they won't sign up on the first you know, first watch through the video, and you need to keep following up with them, keep reminding them. Sometimes maybe they don't have money at the time, but they're going to get paid on Friday, and so, you know, you send them an email on Friday, and they join. So, that is how you import the messages. Now, when you import them, all these messages are coded to someone else. So, if you think you're done now, and you start sending leads, you're going to be sending your leads to somebody else. So, you don't want to do that. So, we need to make sure that you go into here under My List and List Settings, and then you want to fill out all this information. So give your list a description, put your name in here, put the address that you want the emails to come from. Um, you will want to set up the notifications so that you get the incoming lead notifications. So you put your name and email in here and then save all that. And then if you go to the second tab here, you can put in some more information. You can put in a logo for your list. Uh, you can connect it to your Facebook and Twitter so that when you send out an autoresponder broadcast, it'll automatically go to both of these networks. But this is the most important thing that you need to do. So, you want to edit all of these fields. And to do that, you just go and roll over here and you hit edit. And then you update the name, hit update, and now it's changed. Phone number, same thing, edit. You want to change the phone number to yours, hit update, and it's changed. This landing page, this is where you want them to go. Uh, this URL is not familiar to me, so let me just see what Ian was doing here. Ah, uh, okay. I don't think he's B Coon though, so Sam, that's I not right. I was looking for different ways to make some money, just like you're so watching. So what right we now. need to okay. do is his username is to every one. Right? To everyone. That's what he put down here. To everyone. But this landing page, so this is where you want them to go after they type in their email address into the Aweber autoresponder field. So after they're being added to the to the um, Aweber autoresponder campaign, you actually do want to send them to that same video. And so the URL to that video is empowernetwork.com slash and then it's commission overload dot php 
question mark ID equals and then your username to everyone. And so oh, actually I'm sorry. It's commission loophole. Although commission overload sounds pretty cool too. But yeah, so commission over commission loophole.php question mark ID equals and then your user ID. I was looking for different ways to make some money, just like wow. you're watching right now. So I'm going to copy yeah, that. As a mechanical engineer, I wanted to make some part-time income. I'm going to go back into my a over here. here. Income, okay? After I ran closing into a guy that video. On the okay. Internet, and he Landing page. Bam. Paste that in. So now it's HTTPS, www.empowernetwork.com, slash commission loophole.php, question mark, ID equals to everyone and if you can't you know copy and paste from this video but if you go back into the video where I talk about the swipe file you should already have this URL in your swipe file with your user ID already added into it so just go back to that swipe file copy the commission loophole.php one and then paste it into here into landing page hit update okay so now that's all set now for join it's the same thing but you want to replace commission loophole with join so I'm just going to do that. And so now it's empowernetwork.com slash join.php question mark ID equals to everyone. Same thing. This is also in your swipe file if you've created it. Okay, so update that. So now I've got my landing page. I've got my join page. My empower username is to everyone. So now all of this is set. So now all of the links in your uh, message campaign should be going to your user ID but you don't want to count on that. You definitely want to test it yourself. Um, before we do that, I'm just going to look in here. Okay, so confirmed opt-in. This is very, very important. At the bottom here, there's number two, require opt-in on web forms. We strongly recommend you leave it on. Well, we're turning it off. Sorry, Aweber. So yes, I'm sure I want to disable it. And then here, you can also paste the commission loophole.php, the same one that we had in the earlier page. You want to put that here. Um, so once, you know, if a confirmation email does get sent out, every once in a while, Aweber is weird. You know, even if you have this off, they still may send the confirmation email to certain people if their email address is flagged or if certain things are happening on your form that they don't like or whatever. They'll still send them to your. Um, they'll send them the email and then they'll have to click a link in the email. When they click that link, it's going to forward them to this URL, which is all coded up to your affiliate ID so you'll be all set just in case that happens so you want to save settings here so now you're pretty much set um, the last thing you want to do is just test everything so under messages under follow-up so we've got all these messages here and if you hit the test button you can actually type in your email address here and it'll send you that email as a test and then when you get the email you want to go into the email I'm just going to open up the preview here just to show you. Okay, so yeah, it looks like. Yeah, that's not right. Yeah, the links don't actually work in here. But. Let me just show you real quick. If I go to uh, go to source mode, yeah, this might be too confusing. But you see, this is what a link looks like, and it's using that global landing variable that we set earlier. And so, really, what you need to do just send the email to yourself. So go back to where it lists all the emails, and you can only do like I don't know, ten or fifteen at a time before they cut you off, and then you just have to wait like twenty minutes. But you know put in your email address, scroll down here, hit send test, and then open up and then open up the email, you'll see it's from Ian, so his email address was all set up and then if I scroll over this link you can see it's going to to everyone this link also is going to to everyone and here's his blog to everyone and so I'm just going to click it just to make sure and there you go to everyone and so now this autoresponder message is set you want to check every single one of them all 70 or however many there were here um, because 
just in case, because I know there's a couple, let me see if I can find one of them, there's at least two where you have to actually go in and change the link. And it's not because anybody's trying anything sneaky here, but uh, I think someone just forgot. There's a, here it is. This one has an image in it. And right now this image is linked to someone else's page. So I can actually just select it, hit the link button here. And that'll pop up another window. Oh wow, cool, it looks like they fixed it. So global landing, it's already going to that page. So fine. But definitely just test them all because you just want to make sure that you're getting credit for all of your leads. The worst thing that could happen is you send out an autoresponder to someone else's link and then you lose your sign up to that person. That would not be cool. So make sure that you've gone through all these emails and you've checked them to make sure that it's going to your user ID. Another easy way to do that is go to one of your capture pages and put in your own email address and you'll start to get these emails every day and so you don't have to do it all at once but every day when you get the email always click on the links within the email and just make sure that's going to the right spot since you'll be the first one to subscribe to your list you'll get the email first before anybody else and you'll be able to go into here and edit it and just make the change if you find any of them that have the wrong link so go do that go to you know um, not commission loophole but go to almost a secret which is also in your swipe file and then put your email address in here and this is a good way to test first of all to make sure that um, your Aweber is all set up and then second you'll be getting those emails um, I didn't go over this I guess oh, this is obvious but I just wanna point this out so in order to actually get Aweber integrated into your capture page, you just need to tell Empower Network what your Aweber list ID is. So I'm going to log in and go under My Tools. And then at the bottom of this page is this green button that says click here to add your Aweber list name. You want to click on that and then you want to paste in that same list name that we're using for the other stuff. Um, so in my case mine is Empower AW1. And so I would use that and then this page will now go to my Aweber ID. So make sure you test all that, make sure it's you know, all working, you're getting autoresponder messages, and you'll be all set.